Hi there everybody, Sanna here again. I've got some great news to share with you. There is going to be a new stencil re release for Sanna Lippert Designs uh, coming up in October for at, um, sorry, at the Stamploration store and block. Um, and I would like to show you the new stencils from my stencil line. Uh, it's a total of 14 new stencils, which is quite a lot. Um, I've uh, separated these into um, piles. This one is basic backgrounds or full backgrounds, and these are more to the flower and, and plant series. Uh, so let's start by going through these um, really quickly. Um, I've taken a piece of white paper so you can see the full pattern. So the first one is called cornflower, which obviously is the cornflower. Let me see if I can get this out of here. And this is what the pattern looks like. And the stencils are a nice card size, a little bit bigger than a regular card. So you can fit them on a card pattern as a background, for example, really easily. So this is the cornflower. Then I've got uh, one that's called abstract oats, because it's not oats as they normally look like. This looks a little bit different. And this is the pattern. I really, really like this one. Then next one we have barley, which also is something for fall. It will make a really nice background and you can of course use just parts of it on sides of cards, whatever you want to do. And then there's a rose garden, which is a nice rose pattern for backgrounds for Mother's Day, for wedding themes, whatever you you want to use them for. And the next one is called Lupinus, which is, I think, the Latin name for this plant. I wonder if I can get it out of the bag. So, here it is. And the idea of this one, like um, for the one that I had in my first set, is that you can also use just parts of this stencil, so you can take only the petals or the flower parts, whatever you want to, to add to your stencil. This would make a great pattern on a background, and then you can use these like, like water drops or something abstract on, on a mixed media page, or you can use them as flowers. And this one is called Dream Flower. And it looks a little bit like abstract flowers. Nothing nothing really from the nature, but just something imaginary. And I really like this one too. This, this could be also used for Christmas, because I don't know, it somehow reminds me of Christmas flowers too. So um, lots of possibilities there. And then something really funny, it's called Fairy Tale Forest. And it's a really abstract, pattern and you can use this part here as a frame and or, or take just a little bits and pieces from here and use them on a background whatever you prefer so I'm really excited to see what you guys make with this one then there are basic more basic regular backgrounds that where the pattern repeats itself all the time uh, this is called molecules and it looks like this. The next one's called a whale's tail. I wanted to have something with a sea pattern, with something from the sea, and I chose to get some whale's tails here. Really like this one. This is one abstract one. And then there's a one called dots and beans. And Reminds me of a ladybug in, in, in a way also, but it's a nice regular pattern for a background design. And then the next one is called Convalaria, and it's a Latin name again. 
I uh, couldn't figure out how to call this in English so I picked up the Latin name instead and it's a seed pattern and this one looks really cool can't wait to test this out and to give it a go play a little and the next one's called clustered hearts which basically is hearts in a cluster but also could look like a lucky clove clover I think it's called uh, but it's it's four hearts and some dots in between let me come closer so you can see and then the next to last one of this series is called Rag Rug and reminds me of a rug pattern. So it's basically uh, ovals, different types of ovals in a square pattern in here. Would make a really nice background for a card for example. Or you can just take uh, bits and pieces and use them on mixed media projects. So it's very versatile. And the last one is called Lattice. And looks like this. And it has teeny tiny dots in the middle. We will we'll see if that works out nicely. And this is the pattern. So that's it. That's my second stencil release and this time it's with 14 stencils uh, because I thought we would be releasing uh, two uh, releases with a smaller amount of stencils but Sherry chose to, to make a bigger release at once so now you will have all 14 stencils in one release, release coming out in October, so I'm really really looking forward to this release and looking forward to playing with the stencils. I will show some um, projects made with these uh, to give you an idea what they look like when you use them. So I really really hope you enjoy them as much as I do and wish you um, happy crafting. See you soon. Bye!